There are about a quarter of people uh, who will order a tomato juice or Bloody Mary in the air and would never order it uh, on the ground. My name is Professor Charles Spence. I'm head of the Crossmodal Research Laboratory at Oxford University and author of the book Just Out, Gastrophysics, The New Science of Eating. So I think one thing that people notice uh, when they think about it is how many of us or how many others drink tomato juice or a Bloody Mary when on a plane. Uh, it's kind of, you sort of see it being uh, uh, shooting off the trolley here, there and everywhere. And when you do these sort of surveys, you find that there are about a quarter of people uh, who will order a tomato juice or Bloody Mary in the air and would never order it uh, on the ground. Kind of strange behaviour if you think about it. Why are we all sort of going for, the, for those tomato-rich uh, uh, and umami-rich uh, dishes? Well, it is that umami, the fifth taste, that you find it, uh, very uh, much in tomatoes, you find in Worcester sauce, hence in the Bloody Mary, kind of a double umami hit. And this is the one of our five tastes, sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and umami. The one of those five tastes that really stands up and actually tastes more intense at altitude. If you give people tomato juice on the ground and in the air and say, well, how does it taste different to you? Uh, then on the ground, it will sort of tend to taste more earthy. Whereas up in the air, people will often report it tastes a bit fresher, a bit more acidic, uh, and it's more liked uh, as a result.